Hey guys, so I just finished watching Bora, an Aussie horror film directed by Chris Sun, who also did Charlie's Farm, starring Bill Moseley, of all people, the only American actor in this ensemble Australian cast. Bill Moseley is a horror icon. He's been in a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He was in Charlie's Farm as well, which was Chris Sun's first film, more film before this one. He's in Z Nation, which I love, a really cool horror zombie comedy TV series. Texas Chainsaw 3D? No. That doesn't, that sucks. But also, um, why are I taking so long? He's been in some of my favorite horror films. Also starring Nathan Jones, a huge dude who played Charlie in Charlie's Farm. Guy's monstrously huge. Then we've got John Jarrett, Steve Bisley, who I sat next to at the footy last week, Ernie Dingo, Roger Ward, Chris Hayward, Hugh Sheridan, Christy Lee Britton, Simone Buchanan, Madeline Kennedy, Melissa Melissa Coutts, this film is just chock full of Aussie actors. So if you're not familiar with Aussie films or TV series, this cast probably won't mean a lot to you. But being an Aussie who has grown up watching a lot of these people on TV and in other movies, it's quite the cast. It's really cool to see so many Aussie actors, so much Aussie talent in this film. So that's one thing that this film has got going for it. The Aussie talent behind the scenes and in front of the camera are amazing. Go Aussie. That's awesome. So Chris Sun wrote and directed this thing. Basically the story of a gigantic killer boar, big wild pig. And this thing is massive. That is going on the rampage in the Aussie outback, killing anybody who pretty much gets in front of it. Um, we did have a pretty iconic Aussie film years ago from the early 80s called Razorback, which was also about a gigantic boar that was running around killing people. So, points for originality. It's not a remake or associated with that film in any way. That's just, uh, I guess, big killer pigs are the Australian... Well, we have white... I was going to say, big killer pigs is something that Australia would be renowned for, but we also have great white sharks. And we know that movie pretty well. At its base level, it's a B-grade creature feature. And in that regard, yeah, it's not a good film, but it's one of those films that is so bad it's good like i enjoyed the hell out of this i had a lot of fun while i was watching it the call the, the the kills were good the animatronics were good the big boar looked amazing although he was pretty static most of the time whenever the, the boar had to be captured moving quickly or or have a lot of motion in his performance it was cgi work uh the cgi yeah pretty bad to be honest not great Stands out quite a bit. Um, there was a scene at the beginning of the movie where there was a couple in a pickup and all these wild pigs were just running across the road in front of them. And not one live pig was used in the shot at all. It was all CGI and it was really, really, really noticeable. But that's what this film's going for. It's not a big budget thing. It's cheap and nasty and a lot of fun. And I found this, and I found it to be really enjoyable. Yeah, the, <laughs> the script wasn't too crash hot the dialogue pretty hokey the performances were good on the most part kind of on the level that you would expect in a b-grade creature feature uh bill mosley was great he's got a long and varied career so i really appreciate having having him on screen i love his work and yeah i was quite surprised to see that he was in this little independent aussie creature feature so that was pretty cool and john jarrett Better known for Wolf Creek these days. Um, he's actually just gone through a few legal hassles at the moment. I think he's about to actually be thrown in jail. Um, I don't want to comment on it too much, but there was a sex crime back in the 70s and it's caught up with him now. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, but beside the point, moving on, I'm not a lawyer and I don't want to go into all that kind of stuff. But he was good in the film. And of course, Steve Bisley, like I said, I sat next to him at the footy the other week, so it was really cool seeing him on screen, even if it was just for a few seconds in this film, I was misled. I thought he was going to be in this film quite a lot, but no, he was just pretty much just in a drive-by scene, like literally. See ya, Steve. Gore effects were good, some really decent kills in this one. Like I said, they did the best they could with what they had. It was really quite a throwback to the 80s creature features where, where they kind of do the best with what they have. Like the pig looked really nice. He was designed well, the special effects on him, the moving eyes, the big mouth. The sound design was incredible, but you really could see the limitations of the creature during the course of the movie. Like I said, whenever he had to move around too much, it was just like the actors would react to him. Like there was a scene where Nathan Jones, the big gigantic star of the show 
was was having a fight with the boar and you'd see a shot of the boar just kind of like standing there huffing and puffing and Nathan, who played Bernie, would have to actually run at the boar to kind of like animate the scene. But hey, that's how they did it in the 50s, that's how they did it in the 80s and that's how Chris Sun is doing it now here in the 2018s and it was fun. Um... It was not offensive in any way, like it was schlocky. Uh, a lot of my subscribers and friends really recommended that I check it out. Um, I don't know if I was expecting more out of it. I did have a great time watching it, but I didn't love it as much as I thought I might have. But it, it was fun. Um, the cast was really good. Like I said, having the Aussie cast in there was cool. Um, Hugh Sheridan, who was a really popular Aussie actor down here, um, does a lot of TV work and he's branching off into the movies. He played the character of Robert, who was the boyfriend of the daughter. Um, Hugh Sheridan's a really likable guy, very charismatic, and people love him for a reason. He's really kind of a, one of those nice guys. But in this film, he went really quite against type and was playing a real jerk. And that's fine, playing a character who's not like you at all, com the complete polar opposite, like this character was a complete jerk. But there was no redeeming qualities about that character at all and I found that his performance was really quite abrasive and I did not like the character and I was really quite happy to see him get eaten alive by the boar because it was an asshole. <laughs> so, do I recommend you see Boar? Yeah, check it out. It was a lot of fun. It's really, it was really cool to see an independent filmmaker make this kind of film. Uh, Charlie's Farm, which I saw a while ago, I honestly don't remember too much about it. It was about... Um, a farm that had a crazy lunatic living there, played by the aforementioned Nathan Jones. The dude really is huge, killing off, uh, killing off a bunch of people who turned up there, and he, he didn't want them. Pretty much like Jason Voorhees encroaching on Crystal Lake. You know, get off my territory. Here he is, the hero of the piece, and it was cool to see him do something different. Although his acting range isn't too stellar, I'm not one to judge. Not an actor, but he he, he was pretty. He was big. But it was fine. So yeah, I hope we get more of these kind of films from Chris Sun. They're fun, they're schlocky, they're B-grade, and they have their place in society. We enjoy creature features, well I do, and I'm, I'm assuming most of my subscribers, and if you're watching this, you would love a good creature feature too. And do I recommend it? Yes. Giving Boar a score out of 10, I'd give it a 6, because I had fun with it but didn't love it, but it was entertaining for the most part. It only goes around an hour and a half, so I didn't outstay its welcome, but it was fine. I've definitely seen a lot worse. It was okay entertainment, and I don't regret buying it and would have liked to see more in the series. Well, this kind of ended on that kind of like cliffhanger note at the end. Well, not the cliffhanger. It was just like, you know, well, I don't want to spoil it, but they left the door open for more. And I'll probably check it out because I just love my movies. Anyway, guys, that's my review of Boar on Blu-ray. A lot of fun. Have you picked it up? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.